All right, this is the Get Your Ass to Work podcast, episode number 38, and I love technology, man. I am driving back to the office right now. I'm able to get a podcast out and get some content to you guys, and this week I'm talking about what's your education budget. If you're making the same amount of money year after year, it's because you're not learning shit. I got to put my seatbelt on. Um, if, If you're making the same money year after year in real estate, it's it's most likely because of one reason. You're you're not you're not growing as a person, you're not pushing the boundaries, you're no longer taking risks and you're probably not learning anything. You're probably using the same knowledge that you acquired in year number 1, 2 and 3 and are just continuing to use the same information, doing business the same way, not expanding and not growing. And let me tell you what that's a formula for. That's a formula for going backwards. Guys, that is a losing formula. You know why? Because everyone else will catch up to what you're doing eventually and you will start to lose business because other people are going to be pushing the envelope and learning new techniques to market and doing better at online social networking and all this other shit that you think is stupid. If you're not doing it and you're not learning and you're not testing and you're not failing... You're going to go backwards in how much money you earn. You're going to go backwards in your career. And if you're okay with that, well, then turn this podcast off because this podcast really isn't for people who are okay with not doing shit. This podcast is for people who want to be something better than average, who want to make more than their fair share of money out in the real estate game. This is for people who want to dominate who have a desire to do more than what they're currently doing. So my current education budget each year, I've been at about $30,000 or so a year. I'll spend on conferences and real estate coaching and training. I would eventually like to get that number up to $100,000 a year. That would be that would be fucking awesome. I'd be stoked if I could get to the point where I'm blowing 100k a year on my personal development. And I'll tell you one thing that I've learned is that for every dollar I spend on personal development, it comes back usually 5x. I, that's I mean that's typically that's typically what I get back. For every dollar I spend learning something, reading a book, it it's coming back 5x. And the way I track that is I can just multiply how much money I made in a certain year versus the year before, taking into account how much money I spent on education that year. And then you do a simple math equation and yeah, I mean it's it's 5x. Now as I keep going in this game, you know, I might have years where it's only a 3x return. That's okay too. But um definitely you want to stay on top of the game. You want to keep learning. You want to keep moving forward. Here's the other thing that's really fucking cool. Um, The more that you learn and the more that you get around a group of people who are looking to get better at whatever it is that they're doing, you're going to get better by default. I mean, look, if you are swimming and you are, say, going to an Olympic trials, you'll notice that all of the people who are going to Olympic trials for swimming all pretty much look the same, are built the same, they probably train very similar, they probably eat the same fucking things, they have the same routines. I mean, bodybuilders. You get all these bodybuilders, they usually in one city will train at a specific gym, or at least the majority of them will. They look the same, they eat the same, they take the same supplements, Guys, real estate is no different and neither is business. You want to get in that room of people you want to be like. If you want to be a fucking bodybuilder, you better go start training at the gym where the bodybuilders go to. If you want to be kick-ass in business, you better go to those conferences where all of those people who are kicking ass at business are going to to help expand your mind because that's what these people do. They will push your boundaries. They will push your limits. They will challenge you on your weak-ass bullshit when you're making excuses for why you didn't do what you were supposed to do that year, that month, that week, whatever it is. 
And they're usually the nicest people. I mean, business people, for the most part, that are interested in getting better and learning are usually the nicest people willing to share all of their fucking secrets of what they do as soon as you introduce yourself to them. I mean, it's not like... It's not like all secretive, like uh, working on these special projects that nobody's going to tell you about. Some of it is. I mean, there is a small percentage of it that that is like that, that people aren't willing to share every single thing that they know. But most likely, they are willing to share so much more than what you know with you so that it makes it totally worth your time to go and learn from some of the best people in the industry. So guys, look, really simple. If you're not making more money each and every year, you're not learning shit, you're not trying new things, you're not taking risks. That, that's all it is. Um, what if you do all that and you lose money? Well, then you fucking learned, right? You learned what not to do, what, not, what risks not to take. Maybe you figure out what you thought you needed to know was not what you needed to know, and that's all part of the game too. I take all kinds of courses online that I get to the end of it and I'm like, you know what, that was bullshit, but I got this one little piece out of it that is going to make me some money. I got this one little piece out of it that's going to get me three to four more listings next year. And while that may not be a lot, three to four more listings will pay for that program like 10x whatever I paid for it just because of that one little piece of information. You know, sometimes I'll go to seminars and I'll sit there and I'll get so much information within the first hour that I'm there. I will pack up my shit and walk out. I mean, I'll literally, I'm like, okay, I just heard what I needed to hear. I'm done. It's time to go back to work and, and, and get, get my ass in gear for what I need to do. And there's no reason for me to sit here for two more days listening. I already heard what I needed to do. And I've done that a few times at some of the big conventions. So, you know, once you hear what you need to hear, implement right away. Don't wait. Don't put it off. Get to work the minute you figure out what it is that you need to do. Start implementing and start pushing the needle forward on whatever it is you're trying to get better at, whether it be a sport or an instrument fucking you're trying to get better grades you're trying to fix your finances you want to do better in business you want to sell more homes get to work now